There's no word tonight on what caused a brush fire that broke out at a campsite in Martin County earlier today. Extremely dry conditions, as you well know, could not help here, did not help here. And it happened just as hundreds of campers are about to arrive for camp. News Channel 5's Giovanna Derpick has more from Martin County. Martin County firefighters are trying to keep a 10 acre brush fire contained and specifically keeping the burned area from spreading to this unburned area in the woods just one day before summer camp starts. It probably was moving pretty quick in here. I mean, it wouldn't take much for that to start again. Battalion Chief Matt Phoenix of the Martin County Fire Department took us straight to the plow lines. The fire happened just south of Jonathan Dickinson State Park on the grounds of Camp Tanakita. We had no campers in camp. Uh, we turn around, we're setting up for a group to come in for tomorrow. Our Captain Julie in Chopper 5 spotted the fire around 7.15 this morning. Right now, Roxanne Fire Rescue are arriving on the scene. Flames shot up. At first, the fire consumed one to two acres. It quickly spread to 10 acres. It happened out here in the woods where there's no facilities. They've removed some of the canopies off of those tent structures. Chief Phoenix showed us a spot where a firefighter was hosing down a hot spot. The camp's program director explained why tomorrow's campers won't be affected by today's brush fire. We don't do any uh, campfires right now because of the burn ban. Uh, other than that, none of the programs are affected. The dried out soil and parched plants continue to be a focal point for firefighters. You'll have an, an area that will just continue to burn for weeks and weeks and weeks. So these guys will be out here until it's not smoking anymore. But Steinmetz says parents and campers have nothing to worry about. It's as safe as it's ever been. Camp is definitely still on and ready for people. And Martin County firefighters tell me they're going to be out here with their brush trucks all night long and tomorrow to make sure that hot spots don't flare up. For Martin County, Giovanna Derpick, WPTV News Channel 5.